All right, guten Morgen, everybody. Our Doppler's dry once again. Uh, we don't expect any rain during the day today, but we do have an extensive amount of fog out there this morning for you, so be careful, all right? Our Channel 3 other one, dual pole radar, again, dry. Here's some fog for you. And Old Saybrook, the camera that never disappoints is a little disappointing this morning. Got to be honest with you, it's not looking too good out there this morning with a, an extensive amount of fog, even in Old Saybrook, but it's still pretty. All right, here's that wall of fog in Hartford, 56 degrees. Oh, that, that wall of fog just greets us this morning. And here's New Haven. You can see the fog in the distance there. We're getting ready for this to just kind of roll on into the New Haven green over the course of the next two to three hours. So budget in a little bit of extra travel time. Temperatures are all above average. Uh, even Wellington at 47 is still three to four degrees above average, which is some good news. A little cool there. I would grab a light jacket as you're heading out the door this morning, maybe a sweatshirt. On this particular map, 49 is the coolest I can find in two locales. That's at Bradley and in Norwich, 49 degrees. The record is like 27 degrees set back a long time ago. The temperature differential, we're up in a couple of spots. We're down in a couple of spots, uh, basically flat this morning compared to where we were yesterday, and the winds are calm. Here are your headlines. Morning fog in parts of the state. you got to be careful. Partly sunny today and warm. It's going to be another delightful afternoon, just like yesterday. And then maybe a sprinkle tonight as a weak system pushes on into the area. Satellite and radar confirms there's not a whole lot going on out here. You'll notice some sprinkles up over the Great Lakes, but that's about it. Look how dry we are with high pressure and control. And according to early morning futurecast, tomorrow's weather today, it's an hour-by-hour -hour depiction of uh, partly to mostly sunny skies. Th there could be a sprinkle late tonight through very early tomorrow morning. Here we go. You'll see the little green dots materializing. This is midnight tonight through very early tomorrow morning. This is 4 a.m. tomorrow morning with partly uh, to mostly clear skies, but fog will form once again tonight through tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow during the day is another good day, a really another good day of weather. So get out there and enjoy. All right, so today's daytime highs climb into the low 70s. Another gorgeous afternoon. Sun is up at 7.01, sets at 6.12. And we are taking a look at a seven day forecast that includes some pretty nice weather for the foreseeable future. We're talking 76 tomorrow. Look at these temperatures, 77 on Friday, Saturday. Now there will be some showers in the morning. That's the result of a warm front that's going to push into the area. Then the cold front rolls in late in the afternoon. So I think we're going to get a shower in the morning. Then we'll see some partial clearing and then more rain at night. There could even be some lightning and thunder. And then once that cold front moves through, that sets the change uh, in effect for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. You'll notice the temperatures get cooler, 67, 64 and 66 by Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. But Sunday, Monday, Tuesday look mostly sunny and delightful. So we want you to get out there and make some plans for Sunday. Saturday, I don't think it's going to be a washout, uh, but Saturday night is looking pretty, could be stormy and windy too. Uh, and then it's going to be pretty windy on Sunday, but that'll usher in much cooler air.